Niggas holding it down and we taking it up. Tell them niggas we ain't making this up. On the run, had to get to the cash. Cause the money always give me a rush. Back to it, man, that shit ain't enough. Pussy nigga, I be calling your bluff. They wanna leave, I don't need you. I'm the one that took care of the people. I'm the one I put on for the town. Where you was at when I said that I need you? Getting high just to bounce the lows. Tell no vision, I'll be stuck on that road. Like a pawn shop, I'll be here for that gold. Tell them niggas I'ma put on the show. No, I'm not with the kid games, not with the theatrics. Huh, I was stuck up on the block trying to make a pack flip On the road playing with the plastic And the trap sleeping with no mattress Smoke us out but we never pass it Like if you test you just gotta pass it uh, Love the ones that be holding me down Fuck the ones that be holding me up Move on we gon' pull up a cup They seeing the vision they rolling with us How I'm a copy we setting the trend Man these niggas they wear they pretend So I'm Addy my niggas gon' spin That's a lady we making up bend If she give you attention then keep her Move it dusty we came with the sweepers Drop a bag and we sending no reaper If you feeling no way nigga speak up Who can stop with the subs and the lies You or she when you just in the skies we were gonna take a look to the sky I've been fine wow, bloopers I got you, I got you <laughs> Peace YouTube, peace YouTube, peace YouTube Y'all know what time it is Y'all back at it with the highest hippie in the room d Reek and Hippie of course With the d Reek and Hippie show With Spliff and Chun Chun Shout out to Spliff and Chun Chun Those are my co-hosts They couldn't make it today But we here with a few special guests in the building man Shout out to Ace General Y'all know who it is man Y'all know what time it is man Y'all see the face Y'all know the case You know what I'm saying But uh, he got a few special people with him as well We got Kurt behind the scenes And we got Fresh right here You know what I mean So um Let's get into it, man. Peace, fellas. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? What's going on? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, man? Thanks for having us, man. Yeah, we good. Good. That's a fact, man. That's a fact, man. I appreciate you coming out. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. You one of the busiest men in the entertainment biz right now. You know what I mean? And that's what I wanted to lock in and talk to you about. You know what I mean? Because I see you working. Like I was saying earlier when we was outside, I ran into you during the um, Summer Jam parking lot stage that you had last summer. And that was a um, success, you know what I mean? Shout out to everybody that was there. And ever since then, I've just been seeing you killing everything, like every showcase. You, The last one you had, I popped out to, um, you had Joel's there. I believe that was like two weeks ago or a week ago? Yeah, 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 that was on um, April 4th. Okay, about okay. About a week ago. Yeah, yeah, I was there for a little bit. I couldn't run into you, you know what I mean? It was like, chaotic in there that night. Mm -hmm. And um, you got one actually coming I'm going to say tomorrow, but today, because this episode probably be out tomorrow, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, he got a um, showcase coming April 13th, correct? Um, no, April April 19th is the next one with um, Redman, Method. No, April 18th first. Oh, April 18th. With there we go. Stunna today D, is the 13th. Stunna D, my fault. With Stunna D off. Um, April 19th with Redman, Method Man, Styles P at Terminal 5. And April 20th with Smooth L. Yes, sir. In Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Yes, sir. That's a fact. So, um, let's get into that right now. You know what I mean? I want to talk about, um, cause I know, like, I ain't gonna lie from watching you on Money and Violence. We're going to get into that later on because, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I want to touch on the present right now. And I know mm -hmm. that you're doing a lot of stuff. So, um, but from there, I started doing my homework on you, you know what I mean? And I saw that you was into the event planning and doing all this other stuff. Also, uh, you took your turn in music and everything like that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, I want to go into that, talk to me about, not how you got into it, because, you know, that's a long time ago, but mm -hmm. what's going on right now and what you got popping? Um, when it comes down to the whole music event thing, I'm, I'm going to start real quick, briefly, how it all started. I was in a crew called Team Playboys in junior high school. It was a group of dudes, you know. Um, young, it was really about women and stuff like that, but there was two dudes in the group that rap and could really, really rap, you know? Um, so they used to make music. I used to try to jump on tracks here and there, but I wasn't that good around that time, you feel me? But you know, they'll let me rock, whatever, cool. Um, fast forward, I had left Brooklyn and came to Queens. Um, just, just getting in trouble in school. I went through like seven high schools. So I ended up in Queens. Um, my, la my lady at that time, you feel me, she was part of this other crew called Prada Mommies. So they was like kind of throwing small events, you know, neighborhood events. So one time I picked her up from an event. I want them to she, 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 counting, she counting out her, her funds. And mm -hmm. she, let's just say, you know, 17, she made like $2,000, $3,000. I'm like, yo, you made this throwing a party? She was like, yeah. I'm, like, I'm about to throw a fucking party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the motivation. So I hollered at my team, Playboys dude, like, yo, we're making music, but nobody knows us for the music. We, we, we know mad girls. There's six of us. We could throw 
a party and all bring out all the girls we know they bring their friends mm -hmm. then we could play our music at that party and get a little bit yeah, of buzz our shit moving up. Yeah. that started a crew called cloud nine i'm running through it pretty quick so there's things in between um we packing out venues mm -hmm. my first event we had like a thousand people in the club okay. you feel me so I saw that money. I done forgot about the music, bro. I'm like, oh, we throwing parties now. We promoting. I'm an event planner. You feel me? I'm an event planner. Y'all, y'all the rappers. You feel me? So now, looking back, you know, we had fell apart, you know, at some point. Mm -hmm. But looking back, I, I realized that was my mistake because they had their dreams. Like I brought them into something, and we never spoke on it. Like we still to this day haven't spoken why I think but I feel like that's what it would be you know like okay. you know I got into my own zone they might have thought I was being big headed I still you know would show them love and let their songs play and stuff but yeah. that wasn't the initial goal yeah you the saw, initial you goal saw was a, a lane yeah it was, was a like, rap group and I took it. I took that lane you feel me it, yeah. you know I'll apologize for that you know what I mean because that definitely wasn't communicated at that time mm -hmm. you feel me just being older now well, when you're young, when you're young I'm hearing money Women are having a good time, yeah. drinking, like we, we. And we, my name is attached to it? And oh, we unstoppable. Like yeah. we, we used to throw parties the same day. Like let's say there was no parties going on, it'd be 8 p.m. Be like, yo, let's book the club, we throwing a party tonight. And it'll mm. be packed. Like Cloud9 and Queens, anybody watching this could vouch like, we would pack the clubs out. So fast forward, now we got Cloud9, we got the promotion, we got this, we're doing Webster Hall, we're doing the city now, we got, you know, we big. Um, we team up with, the ones that play Miz and Rafe in, in Money and Violence. Mm -hmm. We start different businesses, clothing lines. We did podcasts. We did TV shows. We did everything you could think of because we was just basically trying to invest our money and turn it into something bigger. You feel me? That's so then it came down to a situation happened. Um, and then Mo, Rafe, who plays Rafe, was like, yo, we need to fill my life. Our life is too crazy. You know what I mean? Shout We're out like, to Mo, man. We're like, well, whatever. You're not paying him. Mm -hmm. Fast forward. He got a mic, camera. History was made, Money and Violence, 250 million views later, everybody knows it, two seasons. Now we got other shows on Tubi, he done wrote for Godfather of Harlem, he's Thanks. all over Hollywood, you feel me? Thanks. So Money and Violence took what we had on a small level locally and put it on a bigger scale. A so now I'm like, oh, I got a bigger scale, I'm always thinking of the hustle. So I'm like, I gotta throw parties on that bigger scale now. Now mm -hmm. I know like celebs that aren't gonna not answer me because they know who I am. They watch Money and Violence. So it's like, oh, that's the nigga from Money. We could yeah. do business with him. People in Toronto know who I am. I could throw a party in Toronto, Houston. So I just feel like Money and Violence just put me on a platform to do what I was doing already. Yeah. And just you attacked that bigger, lane as well. I see. Big, so I, I stopped. I, see you. I didn't really want to be an actor. That really was just a, you know, let's shoot a movie. So I didn't go to acting classes and pursue like being in BMF and stuff. I could have probably, you mm -hmm, feel me? Mm -hmm. That could have been another lane for me, but I really love the marketing. Yeah. So now when I double back with the marketing, now I'm like, I gotta do the music shit the right way. Mm -hmm. So now I find artists, cause I feel like, like I said, personally, I feel like I let my, my niggas down in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So now it's kind of like writing my wrongs with other artists. So now I involve them in the events. Like, yo, now you're gonna perform. Okay. I'm gonna get a bigger artist and you're gonna open up for that artist. I don't know what that's gonna do for you, yeah, but, but I'm gonna I put you in a room right with, there. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, you can't say you didn't open up for Jewels. You open up for Rowdy, you open up for Cassidy, you open up for Beanie Siegel. Like, these are the people we grew up on. That's you feel fact. me? So, not saying it's gonna change your life, but it has brought those artists to different levels now too as yeah. well, you feel me? So. Yeah. That's pretty much the fast forward version of yeah. everything to where I'm at now. So that's why I'm doing those events now because the events got to count and matter. Yeah, and I love seeing it because exactly how you explained it, like I get to, now that I'm at a certain level, I get to double back mm -hmm. and really mm -hmm. touch the lives that I really want to. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, yo, come in, but I need you to, you know what I mean? So I really appreciate that part too because like, Last year or 2022, I started getting into doing showcase events as well because I run into a lot of artists doing the podcast. I knew a lot of artists when I was younger. So doing the showcase events, like you saying, you got to have certain certain things that's going to attract people to mm -hmm. that shit. So mm -hmm. if you put an artist like Joel's on the flyer and he's definitely going to be there, it's like, oh, shit. Yeah. I'm going to give it my 110%. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. I appreciate that shit. So, um, talk about talk about the event that you got coming up. This one is you said the eighteenth. Yeah, I got a few. So the eighteenth is it's Stunner Dior. Mm -hmm. Um so outside of working with artists and like other entrepreneurs, I also work with the businesses and establishments themselves. Mm -hmm. So big shout out to Dream Lounge, 305, Gems, 1080, BK Estates, Now and Then. Those clubs are letting me Tropical Breeze, those clubs are letting me bring 
up and coming artists. Some clubs don't do that. You feel yeah. me? So to to keep the 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 flow going, I'll take somebody like GFB Fresh. Holla at one of the clubs like yo. Um, Give him a booking rate. He Shit, I think I'm following you on <laughs> IG already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I, I met you before too. Yeah. yeah Damn, I, yo, D we can hit people. I be high as shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I would have them give a budget out. So that's another thing. Like, it won't be nothing crazy, but they gotta play studio time. They gotta get to these events. So, yeah, I, I switch up who I book for certain events. So mm -hmm. like, it'll be a Deva, a GFB Fresh. A King Street, a Kaya baby, a Stunner Dior, a Steph G. Like they could all vouch. I yeah. have these owners book them, give them their bag, they bring their people out, they perform, and that'll be their event. So I try to ro rotate them through the events of working with the businesses. Now the businesses, they get it at a better price, one, because you know if they hollered at them directly, they wouldn't get the price I get. Everybody knows that. You know what I mean? Two, they get me promoting the business on top of bringing that client there. Mm -hmm. So the business is getting exposure and that night they keep their ball money, you know what I mean? So I work, I work out a lot of ways and it helps keep everybody in rotation, put some money in the artist's pockets, you know what I mean? And it helps me because now I'm building a bond with these artists. Yeah. Cause you know, you put money in their pocket, they and trust you And even like you more. said, with the establishments themselves, they seeing what you bring in into the door. They exactly. like, oh hell yeah, whenever you ready, just yeah. let us know what day you exactly. got it. Exactly. And it's crazy you naming those names, like a lot of the artists that I fuck with and like uh, on some of my showcase events was on your shits like um, Envious was on the shit mm -hmm. that you did at the 1080 now like a couple months ago like last month or some shit like that uh, Mike Ken Dream was on the mm -hmm. one with Jewels and Tay Sav I fuck mm -hmm. I knew Tay Sav for like 15 years yeah, now Tay Sav is a, he's nice he's I like a his beast, energy yeah. Yeah. I, I met like him energy. he was just making beats Okay. And then he started rapping. I was like, yo, keep doing your thing. Yeah, you got a lot of artists that I fuck with, like, that's, like, doing your show. So I'm seeing the progression from them and you, like, embracing that. I was like, oh, shit. I got to sit down and talk with him just to see what the mindset is. Because I was watching, um, <coughs> shit, you just sat down with my man. I just interviewed him, um, Sparrow. Yes. NWO News. Yeah, yeah. He was, uh, and you, I heard you on that interview where you was talking about, like, when it comes to like the details of these showcase mm -hmm. events, a lot of people don't want to pay oh, yeah. to be in that certain light. Mm -hmm. And it's like, bro, you got to take advantage of this opportunity that somebody's giving you. Cause like we talk, I don't, I don't put, I don't break the fourth wall, right? But mm -hmm. we talked behind about this interview and mm -hmm. I explained to you what was the dynamic. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you was like, nah, I got you. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's it. Communication but, is everything. Yeah. I still sacrificed half of that by getting this space yeah, you know what I'm saying? because i usually shoot from my room yeah yeah that's my studio yeah. you know what i'm saying but when i got somebody like you i want you to be comfortable mm -hmm. you got to make that sacrifice for your dream you have to so have go to. more into that with like the details with these artists like not negative but you know I both mean, the sides truth, of the, the truth is the truth is the truth yeah. um so you know I don't blame the artist because you, you don't know what you don't know. So as an event planner, I know the expenses that come with um, rocking out an uh, event. You have to book the venue. You feel me? You have to get the guard. Sometimes you have to pay for the staff, depending on the type of venue. If you got like an event space, you got to bring the staff. Sometimes the, the club does provide the, the staffing. You feel me? But... A lot of times you got still have your door person, flyers, promotion, then your time, like security, secu every security, DJs, like equipment, like they don't understand how much things go into and they, what they got to really realize, you're putting that into their dreams. When you're doing just an independent showcase, that's a bunch of people that, you know, just being very honest, that didn't make it yet, that you're investing two, three thousand dollars into give them a platform to shine. Yes. And then they don't want to pay two hundred dollars for a slot. They don't want to buy 10 tickets and bring people out. Like, I can't help you. I personally, and I'm not saying showcases is the way. There's people that make it without doing shows. Hey. People, but if you really look down at the history of shows, Drake, Jay-Z, Jay-Z had an interview with Kevin Hart when he was like, um, I used to open up for Met Method Man and I used to pay the promoter to open up for Method Man and because they was hot at the time. That's Jay-Z. Jay like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you have to be able to invest in yourself and once once again some people really just don't got it and that's okay i'm mm -hmm. very honest and sometimes i don't got it yeah. and i'm gonna tell you like i can't do this thing because i don't got it you gotta wait you know what i mean pride and ego to the side you gotta know what you could afford you come with me correctly with a budget you know what i mean if it works it works if it doesn't 
I still give out free advice. Yeah. There's times I have free shows and I'll spin back for that person that couldn't afford my thing and be like, yo, here, come perform <laughs> for free. And that free show might change their life. You never know, you feel me? Like, so I'm not an a-hole, but if I'm gonna give my attention to you, like you want my direct attention to you, it's gonna cost you. you yes, sir. Me? Yes, it's sir. It's gonna cost because you. Because like you said, is you not you not just doing something for yourself. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna get some monetary off this, but I'm investing into your dream. Yep. And you gotta understand that fact. And if you want it that bad, you're gonna invest into your okay. dream. That's it. So let's just get it popping. Let's make a big conglomerate. Cause the more people you work with, the bigger the showcase is yeah, gonna be. Exactly. And the more eyes that's gonna be on it, one or two of you might pop. And then yeah. you could do what he doing, come back around. Yo, remember we was on the showcase together? I got you. Yeah, so that's my, that's my game plan. Like, you know, I want to see New York City work together and it's starting to peak. And then, you know, it's all off energy. So my energy now bringing these big celebs, I'm starting to see other promoters bring celebs and let people open up to. Yeah. I'm all for that. I'm not, I'm not seeing that as competition. I'm seeing that as, ooh, I ain't gotta do all the work. You feel me? Like, yeah, yes, that's you a feel fact. me? Like, y'all helping me out. So even if you want a, a celeb that I brung and you need that connect, I don't hide connects. I want that celeb to get rebooked. I want him to make money so y'all can hit me up. Mm -hmm. I don't add nothing to it. I give you direct links, you feel me? Like, that's just how I move, you feel me? So. Don't think because I brought this celeb, now nah, I'm not going to do it because Ace did it. That's that shit <laughs> that keeps us in a box. Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah. if you want to rebook Cassidy and Beans and redo that event your way, you feel me? I'm going to give you the direct numbers to the yeah. management. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's just how I move. Yeah. So that's what I want to see with New York City artists, too. Yeah. I want to see them collabing together. I want to see them dropping videos together. If you got motion in the Bronx and you got motion in Brooklyn, y'all do a song together, y'all do a video together, then I bring out somebody like French Montana and y'all open up together, yeah. that's Brooklyn in the Bronx shutting that show down together. You yeah. feel me? Like y'all could do a lot more together. Not saying everybody got to be friend, buddy, buddy, but think of the business. Yeah. You feel me? And then you, you got to think about, it's chess. You got to think about that second third fourth move like as soon as this shit do this your ig or something gonna pop you gotta attack that boom you gotta attack that so you can know exactly what lane you can go to you know what i mean and that's respectfully to like an artist that's one year in 10 years in and you still independent you gotta still bust those moves yes yes because they be thinking is, time means they pass certain things time don't mean shit I don't mean you shit. could have been doing this for 10 years and still nothing's moving for you still in the beginning stages i'm still like like for me for instance i've been doing this since 2018. Mm -hmm. i just went into my seventh year yeah i'm still in the beginning stages you know what i'm and saying it's okay views and subscriber wise but when i feel the streets i was able to reach you yeah that's it. you know what i'm saying so it's like oh shit. how how hippie got ace because I get there and I attack it. Mm -hmm. Yo, Ace, what up? I do a podcast. He was like, yo, um, sh shout your shit out on the, um, on the mic, right? So when I did that, Jimmy, for Jimmy Bones, president, whatever his name is, I forget his name. He walked up to me. He was like, yo, take my IG. Sigurdy pulled up to me. Yo, take my mm -hmm. IG. You know what I'm saying? And I'm building connections That's with people. It. So I went to another showcase of your same shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um. It's the same thing with this podcast thing, too. I'll be feeling so overwhelmed sometimes, but I keep pushing ahead, you know what I'm saying? And again, I appreciate you for popping out and doing this for me, having to sit down with me. So um, we got Fresher here. Um, Fresh here, um, let's give him the mic and let him talk his shit for a second, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's cool. So what's the, uh, you gonna be on the next um, event? Which one? The one that's coming up on the 18th for you? Oh, on nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna be on that. All right, so um, so what you got going? Right now, I'm planning my um perfect timing concert. Okay. From I did one last year, over 250 tickets sold. Mm -hmm. And this year, you know, we trying to do bigger, so that's what I'm focused on right now. Okay, okay. What, June what's 29th. The, June? 29th. June 29th? Yeah, okay, dope, dope, dope. I got something coming May 31st. It's going to be called Burning Papers. Okay. We're going to have a couple things going on. But, um... You gonna have you gonna be performing on it, yeah. or you got different? Yeah, I got other artists gonna be performing as well. And, and you gonna be like the headliner? Yeah, headliner. Okay, okay, yeah. dope. And so, I got a few other headliners too. Okay, so who who you got on there? Who you got a? So who, you can. I, I ain't want to spoil it yet. You know, okay. I'm, 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 I'm still, we still, yeah, you know, 
And I st- was trying to get a special guest and all that because we didn't want about. Fine. Okay. Okay. Dope. So. Oh, so as far as your music and everything, like what you got going right now, you got singles. You got I got my album. single. What we doing? My city. I got. I want you a little Afro beats and you know a little R and B type. And I just shot a video to um, one another single um, on the strong survive. Okay. Dope. That's fire. Yeah. That's fire. How you like the um? How you like the reception that you've been getting from it so far? It's been good. It's good, but you know I gotta go harder. That's all. Gotta put in more work. That's so it. So it could that's be better. It. Yeah, I'll be saying that shit to my you know co-hosts. They be like, yo, that last episode went crazy and I'll be hitting them with the Kobe. Yeah. Job ain't done, man. Gotta, we gotta, gotta go harder, that's yeah, all. Yeah, that's a fact. We gotta go. You know? So like, having Ace like in my, my, my side, you know what I'm saying? You always call me, push me, like, yo, you could do it, you know? So that's motivation. So I always get up and I, you know? Yeah, when you got somebody on the corner like that, yeah. it's easy to um, motivate yourself. Like, I, I might be having this down day and yeah. he don't know that, but he yeah. hitting you up like, yo, it's lit today. Yeah. You like, oh shit. I gotta pick right. myself up because yeah. he just hyped me up. That's what's up, man. So um, give them your um, your your everything. Your everything YouTube is channel. GFP Fresh. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, everything is GFP Fresh. YouTube, everything. Okay. Just Google okay. me. I'm gonna pop up on my head. Fire, you know, fire. Like he said earlier, Google the name, man. You are gonna find. And I think name. I met you at last year at the Summer Jam in Queens. I think that's where I met you at. Oh, the one in Long Island? Yeah. Um, by the US, where you did that shit? US, yeah, the US USBC. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> yeah, I was out there with um, Color Me Tasty. She had the little tent. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout, yeah. Out, Shout to out to Color, Color Me, Tasty. Me Tasty. She was definitely out there supporting and that's doing the her thing. Right yeah, she said, she said, yo, Ace hit me um to do this show. I was like, oh, word? Came for money of us? Hold <laughs> on, I'm going with you. <laughs> so I wanted to talk. <laughs> I said, I'm coming with you. That's <laughs> a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, so I want to touch on that a little bit, you know what I mean? Because I know you, like you said, you didn't really want to get into acting and all that. Mm-hmm. But um, you could touch on money and violence for a little bit, and um, let me know if you got any acting thing, any coming up. Because I see that y'all um put the full first and second season on Tubi. Yes. yes. And are y'all working on the third or? No, nah, we're not working on the third. Okay, Currently, cool. You but know, you it's got a um, it's called Black or yes. Blackie. Yeah, we got Black. Um, B dot L dot A dot C dot K uh-huh. on Tubi right now. That's um written by Moses Venu, same person that wrote and directed um Money and Violence. Mm-hmm. That's and, a intellectual property, right? Yeah. So um um nah, it's called Stormy Page Entertainment. That's his um oh, Stormy business. Page. Okay. Stormy Page Entertainment. Um, I'm an associate producer on that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm also an associate producer on the YouTube series that he wrote called The Spot. The Spot. Um, also we have. I'm in this movie, Life of a Zoe. It's out on Tubi as well. Mm-hmm. I got a couple cameos. Like, if you, the people be hitting me, like, yo, that was you in this Tubi thing. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember all of them, all <laughs> the names, because I was just at one point for a year, I did the same thing I was doing for artists, I was doing for the up and coming web series. And I was like, yo, oh, you was just- throw me a cameo. You know, it might help your views. It might, I don't know, you know. Yeah. So I did a few of those. Um, I think we. I do have a big role coming that we're gonna film an actual like where it's not just a cameo and I'm playing a role. Um, shout out to Luke Stefan. I don't even know what it is. He just texted me and said, "Yo, may you film it? You feel me?" But that man has about like 30 movies on Tubi, okay. um, Amazon Prime. Like that man is working very very hard. So you know when shout I see people doing things like that, I don't really ask too much questions. You feel me? Like yeah. I just give him that time. Whatever he needs me to do, we're gonna do it, yeah. and we'll figure that out. You yeah. know later. So big shout outs to him. You might see me in one of his projects real soon. I don't know what it is, but we here, man. We, we here. working. We outside. I, what I what I like, um, cause I watch, like I said, I follow your shit. You know what I'm saying? I follow your career. Um, it don't seem like you typecast it. You know what I'm saying? You tried to do like even if you are like the same, like per se, the same character. You mm-hmm. tried to bring a different twist to it mm-hmm. every time you somewhere else. So that's what I try to pay attention to. You know what I mean? But. As far as the Kane character, like I just liked it on Money and Violence because the um, the growth of the character. Yeah. At first, it seemed yeah. like you know what I mean. At first, he was getting on board. Yeah, it's like me. almost <laughs> like you would getting bullied yeah, type shit yeah. and all that, mm-hmm. and then you was like, "Yo, every man has that point where enough is enough." You know what yeah, I'm saying? Fuck. I don't care what you got going on that side. I gotta survive and yeah, eat. Yeah. And you saw the turn of that character, and you was just telling Rafe like yo nah I gotta get it you know what I'm saying yeah, but that's real life yeah to have someone like Rafe like cause the show to have someone like him on Kane's side to tell him right from wrong like yo you could do this 
but it got to be this way because yeah. you could get hurt. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what I loved about that show. It sold so many life lessons. Bro. Yeah, yeah. So the, the thing with Money and Violence, it was never to glorify the violence. It mm -hmm. was to show the why. Because a lot of times these, the news, the media, these other shows in Hollywood, they show the what? Black man kills this black man. This that, like, but they don't show the why. Not saying things are excusable, but there's some circumstances where things are circumstantial. Yes. That person was not an animal. That person is somebody's superhero. You yes. feel me? Like he, they got a family at home too that probably loves them. You know that they take care of. And sometimes you in a situation where it's like you have to perform. You feel That's me? So like right. there was no other way to get Mister off my back. Mm -hmm. in that series if you really look at it no matter how much I avoided them no matter yeah. how much times I gave him money no matter he had to go yeah gotta go you know what I mean <laughs> like and every action has a re that was years of bullying I, my last I gotta feed my daughter think about it I'm looking for a job yeah. like really put yourself and in you gotta shoes. think about it too like every time like a show like that starts there was a pastime to yeah. it yeah so you had to be fucking dealing with that for more than what it looked like on the show. That's a fact. I, I like to think of it like that because I be writing, you know what I mean? I'm trying to get something together yeah, too. Yeah, and you know, you, you hear it in the details. Like when we, I, I first, the first season started and I'm like, I ran into Mr. First thing Ray said is like, damn, you still letting him bully mm -hmm. you? Like that's, mm -hmm. you know it's a problem for a minute. You feel if me? Your like, brother was in, if your brother was here. He wouldn't be doing yeah, that. You yeah, feel yeah. me? Your yeah. brother was the only reason he was getting protected out here. Like you got to stand on your own. Like you, you hear those lessons in the very first episode. And you see Kane's open, like his yeah. mind open. Like, yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? But I'm still like trying to figure my shit out. Yeah. And I got you, baby and moms. I got this nigga. Mm -hmm. I got and I want to give a big shout out to Mo for that too because when they picked their characters and I ended up with Kane, it was mainly because um, I wasn't around when they picked. You feel mm. me? So I saw the character, I saw some of the scholar. Ah oh, man, like well I'm the one that's. He like yo bro, I promise you by the time the second season is done, you're gonna be the favorite character. It's gonna be a beloved show. character. He's like this. The, it's gonna be a slow development, but they're gonna love you. I swear. He said that from the very beginning, and I promise you, everybody I speak to. They love the development of Kane. They love like him, they love. It was like, yo, when we did the season finale in um side um we did stage forty eight. We had like a thousand people in there. Mm -hmm. When they showed me taking care of Mister, the club went. It was you would have thought I won an award. Yeah, everybody coming to hug me in real life. Like like I, I escaped like danger. You feel me? Like finally, it's like me you know too. what I mean? Finally, like I'm people was you, like finally yeah. people was hype. You know what I mean? Like there was and how that shit was like. Y'all was y'all was uh filming like on the day of and shit, or y'all had like a script and all that. Man, it was guerrilla warfare, was, bro. So we would drop on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Mo would write the script for the following week. When we get on set on Friday, shit. he would hand us the script, and we'll start filming right then and there. So we'd have to learn our lines while on set, and sometimes it's improvising. Like he'll be like, "Oh shit." I didn't know it was gonna rain, so we gotta do this instead. And mm. the, I didn't know this was gonna, I didn't know this block was gonna be blocked off, so yeah. we gotta do this. Like, people don't understand, we did that for 22 weeks straight. And then Mo would go on Sunday, Monday, he'll have to break everything down. You do editing, mm -hmm. he would have to break that whole hour down, yeah. edit, and drop it by Tuesday. See what he like, don't like, what he, what matches. Voices, yeah. That. Switch the camera frames, I all of that in two days. imagine with a fucking show, like you just said, the voice, cause you got something else recording the voice and the, oh my God, but the audio and all that shit. Got and he would do that and have it ready for us by Tuesday. And you can't control the outside. Yeah, <laughs> Cannot control God used outside. to be on our side. I say, I used to say we used to have angels on set. So let's say we, every time y'all seen a thing where like, we did a robbery or something and like the cops will pull up. We ain't pay those cops, it'll be just like right on the moment. <laughs> or like somebody got shot and then you hear sirens in the background. That wasn't added noise. That was really a siren passing yeah, by yeah. after we did the scene. It was like God was like our extra like castmate. Uh, you feel me? Like the uh pawn pawn pawn. Pawn shop. Yeah, when they walked out of there and the cop car was <laughs> and they looked nervous. It was crazy because the, niggas the, kept it moving. Like, yeah, like that it. shit just pulled up. They just went in the Seven Eleven next door. Yeah, yeah. They just happened to have That's a cop tough. car there. That's tough. Pull up, right here. Pull up, pull up. We had somebody else pop in for Ace. You know what I'm saying? Let them yeah. know who we got Ace. Yo, my guy Story in the building. Um, real quick story. You know, this is my guy from day one. He gonna tell y'all, you know, his 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 rundown. But just another client working with Ace General Inc. Um, we running and moving through the city. Story, talk to him. Shit, boy, story, big queens. We outside. Like bro said, we working, you feel me? I knew Ace for years. 
Feel me? Since money and violence, I was actually on that shit. Don't fucking run. Facts. Episode, facts. You know what I mean? got a cameo <laughs> in that word. But I mean, we locked in though. Fucks. So what's good? What you got going on, man? You got album out. Sure, I got a lot of shit going on. Um, I know going. Um, I know out right now. Me and Ray Smith going crazy. Oh wow wow. Um, I got in the box. I'm about to drop with Keen under the month. Feel me? April twenty sixth. That's in. dropping. April twenty sixth movie. Huh. Yeah. So he's he's on the um a couple of shows that's radar. coming up. Okay. Yeah. Just doing it. my on the radar. Just dropped like two days ago. Okay, dope. That's uh, nice. And you said the name is Story. Yeah, Story. Dope. Dee Reek and Hippie. Huh? Dee Reek and Hippie. Nice to meet you, gang. That's a fact, bro. That's a fact, bro. So we got a couple more minutes, you know what I'm saying? Don't want to rush it because I got to get up out of here, too. But um, let, them know, let the people know where they can find you at. Let them know what you got coming up. And if you got any last words for your people, let them know. You know what I mean? I uh, yeah, already know it's Ace General. Ace underscore General underscore self-proclaimed marketing genius this Thursday. April 18th, we got Stunner Dior. The 19th, we got Red Man, Method Man, um, Styles P at Terminal 5. The 20th, we got Smooth L. Um, that's in Brooklyn. Shout out to DJ Twizzle. Um, the 26th, Story got his song dropping with Keen Streets. That's dropping on all platforms. So make sure y'all tune in and watch that. Um, the June 29th, Fresh got his Perfect Time and 2 concert. May 31st, shout out to Shakira, Cash Cobain, Ace General. We in New Jersey, taking my talents to New Jersey. June 30th, Papoose in Jersey as well. I'm doing that. Summer Jam parking lot, we doing that stage as well. Back again with Ace. It's a lot of things going on. Oh, yeah, and my birthday party, May 3rd. We locking in Dusty Locaine. By the time this drop, that will be official. I'm working on it right now. So by the time y'all see that, May 3rd, we in Brooklyn, me, Dusty Locaine. Shutting down Brooklyn. Ace General birthday. Memorial Day weekend, May 23rd to May 29th. Fab Dexter Dax. We in DR, Festopia. NYC Compton, what's up? I got a whole bunch of things on my... Just follow me on Instagram. I can't remember all the events right now. But big shot. Who? Which one? May 2nd. May 2nd, what's that? Which one? May 2nd. Shout out to Story. That's a, that's a holiday right there, man. May 4th, that's Chloe's birthday. May 4th is Chloe's birthday. <laughs> April 25th, Fresh is at SOBs too. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to Scott Morris. April 28th, Scott Morris Day Summit, it's my so stage. Nice. It's a it's 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 a lot going on. Big shout out to everybody that's rocking. Shout out to Healthy Chill, another one of my clients. He couldn't make it today. That's my guy. Locksmith is out. Make sure y'all download that. All this information is on my Instagram. If you're an artist out there, if you're an entrepreneur, a business, and you just need exposure. Get next to me, Ace underscore General underscore. We outside working. Big shout out to D Reek and Hippie for giving us this opportunity. All podcasts, all blogs. We appreciate y'all. Like, just reach out. I'll be a little busy, but I'm gonna make it happen. We're gonna come in. We're gonna do the interview. We're gonna turn up. We're gonna post it. We're gonna promote it. We appreciate the platforms. We fuck with y'all. We outside. That's a fact. That's a fact. And if y'all made it, and if y'all made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, and y'all already know what time it is for Split, for Chun Chun, for Ace General, and all the guys in the building, man. It's D Rika Hippie, and y'all already know what we about to do. I got two rolled up, so I'm gonna get high as soon as I pack up, and we out of here, man. Let's get it. And he's the he, he's being nice about it. Pause this motherfucking video and subscribe right now. D Rick and Hippie. Make sure y'all tune in. Subscribe, like, comment right now. That's a Thank fact. you. Spliff, holla at me, bro.